Hello, this is Gary Cleveland with Cleveland Helicopter Services in Plymouth, Indiana. This video will describe dynamic rollover, which is a helicopter accident that occurs usually on the initial pickup of the helicopter from the ground into a hover, or it could be low-level hover operations with lateral movement when the skid catches. Three things have to be present for the helicopter to roll over. It must be a pivot point, which is typically a skid. There must be a rolling moment, and the helicopter must exceed the critical rollover angle of five to eight degrees, depending on the helicopter, loading, and winds. This helicopter I will use to demonstrate a dynamic rollover. The pilot must ensure that he's doing a two-step process on the pickup. In other words, he's getting it light by adding pitch to the rotor system. And as he's getting it light, he's working the pedals to make sure that there's no left or right yaw. He's making sure that the helicopter is not wanting to go left or right, forward or backward. That way he can pick it straight up. Now a rushed pickup could cause a dynamic rollover because let's say the pilot has too much left cyclic input and he does not do a slow pickup to fill out the helicopter to see if all the controls are neutral. With this left input it would cause this skid to possibly catch on the ground and the helicopter would lift up and if he does hit five to eight degrees it could rapidly roll. When the pilot noticed this by simply lowering the collective, the helicopter would not roll because it would be transferring the lift from the rotor system and putting the center of gravity back on the skids. The instinct that a pilot may have, or I should say an inexperienced pilot, as the helicopter starts to roll to the left, the pilot may think, right cyclic is the right thing to do. That does not get rid of the lift and the helicopter will continue to roll. The only way to attempt to stop the rolling moment would be to lower the collective. Now other things could cause this helicopter to roll on pickup. There could be a strap holding the skid. Helicopters have rolled on tuna boats picking up into a hover from the deck because a strap is still on one side, not the other. It could be that one skid is stuck in the mud, the snow, or something like that. Now, a helicopter in low-level hover operations is also at risk to roll over if they, say, hit a taxiway light or post or just about anything while it has lateral movement. So let's introduce simulated object here. We'll pretend this is a taxiway light. Low-level hover operations. Helicopter moves to the left, catches the runway light or the taxiway light, and five to eight degrees is reached very quickly, causing the helicopter to tip most likely before the pilot even noticed that he had bumped into this runway light or taxiway light. Pilots that have experienced dynamic rollover say that it happened so quick they did not feel that they had the opportunity to make any inputs to attempt to stop it. Hopefully this is a helpful video for you and we'll see you in the next video. Leave your comments below, like the video, subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos on other helicopter ground school issues.